What's going on YouTube gang? It's Metal DFS coming to you live and direct. Here to give you my favorite place for today's eight game main slate. Today is the 3rd of March. Hope everybody's having an amazing Tuesday. Feel free to like the video. Please subscribe if you're new or supporting the channel. I appreciate the love. Press that bell icon to always stay notified for new videos. Let's jump right into it, y'all. Going with the point guard slot for today. Now, you have some good spots. I like Terry Rozier. Now, 5,700 on Vandals. Too cheap to be ignored in a great play you know he's 61 on DraftKings it's a great spot for him knowing that uh we have Graham out we have Monk out you know just give up grip bumping usage for Terry Rozier and what's his price tag he give you that 35 plus in this play this is a great scoring opportunities in this play for today he showed upside and last you know two out of five games with the Raptors and the Knicks so you can see potential here in a nice fast-paced game as well for Charlotte's 92.96.2 to San Antonio's 100.6 is so a good bump in pace for Charlotte in this play so definitely something you want to consider here at this price tag for Rozier all right of course you have Shake Milton's in the good play on Vandals another good spot here you know knowing that Josh Richardson is out he gets a nice little bump and he's been crushing it lately you know 51 37 34 in the last three and you know so much upside in this play now is it going to be a it'll be an underdog play for Philly in the spot but I still see great potential with this price tag on Vandal now he is 66 uh, I'm sorry 62 on draft uh, draft Kings but you can still see that 35 plus potential in this play for him today all right, let's look at to our next spot. Going to our uh, shoot our shooting guards. All right, going to the shooting guards. I definitely like. Um, let's go down this list. Alec Burks is in a good spot here, 4,700. He is 44 on DraftKings. He will more likely be expected starter um, without. Um, J Rich, and you also get a bump in usage as well. So he's one of those guys that could definitely pay up this price tag. Uh, he could give you that 25 plus in this play. Um, of course, we want to look some, for more options here. You got Cody Martin in a good spot here going against San Antonio. He's 4,200 on draft on uh, Vandal, 41 on DraftKings. He gets some good upside as well without Graham and Monk in the mix. He's getting some minutes. You know, he had 29 minutes last game 22 the game before that um so something you could look into with cody martin you know he's one of those guys a fancy point play with minutes involved but he could give you that 25 you're looking for some uh for some cheap plays here for him in that spot for today of course you want to go for the higher up guys uh, we do have Drew Holiday in the good spot here, 8,100 on FanDuel, 79 on DraftKings at a 40.2 projection play with a five times value spot. Definitely like Drew Holiday here, knowing he got a great floor against Minnesota, 30, 53, 46, 38, 34. He give you that 35, even 45 fans point game in this matchup going against Minnesota. It's a fast-paced game, 103.9 to 104.1 in, in pace. So it's going to be a fast-paced game, most opportunities for face point opportunities here so drew holiday in a great spot so definitely look at your lines and you can also pair if you want to go up um d'angelo russell another guy could give you that 45 play he means 9k on draft kings but at 248 implied total seems like there's no defense involved in this play you know he could give you that 45 plus so both guys is going to be on a shootout in this spot for today so Look into this play here. Let's look into the spread. Uh, I just want, definitely want to see that. So I'm looking to the spread with this game. So it's 11.5 sp spread, you know. So it could, if it goes to be a blowout, this could hurt uh, Russell. But he's one of those guys who's gonna try to keep it close. Uh, so just keep that in mind with the spread in this game. All right, let's look into our small forwards. All right, now going small forwards. I like this price tag for Tobias Harris at 7,300. Now he is 82 on DraftKings going against the Lakers. Let's also look into this spread as well because I think they're also a potential blowout spread. Now they're looking at a 12.5 underdog spread for Philly. Um, but I like this. I like this play more so on FanDuel. No, he could get there at 7,300 before a blowout. Uh, and if any blowout potential, he can give you that. He can give you that easy set, a 35 uh, projected uh, value. But of course, in the last three games against Lakers, he had 40 base points in all three games. Something you could consider here, like I said, on Fanduel. Now you're looking at 82 on DraftKings, you want him to at least give you 40 and above. So 
like this play more so on FanDuel. Uh, let's look at our next play. Uh, you got Miles Bridges at a great price tag, 5,700, 55 on DraftKings. That's a good spot for Miles Bridges here against Antonio, 24th against the position. He had 39, 27 in the last two against Antonio. That's a great play for them. Like I said, with a fast pace for Charlotte in this play here, he could give you that 30 face points and above um, in that spot. Now, Harrison Barnes, I like this play for him, you know, but at home. He plays well at home going against Washington. You know, he plays great. You know, it's a good pace for Sacramento here, 98.6 to 103 in pace. But he also shows so much upside going against them. Check it out. 29, 26, 43, 37, 46. He's averaging around 42 phase points playing at home against Washington in the past three games. So definitely keep that in mind. He's one of those guys that could definitely pay upside, especially with this price tag. He's too cheap. Um, he's only 4,800 on FanDuel, but he is 54 on DraftKings, but nonetheless, no one can give you that 35 and above in this play, and plus with the previous history against them, playing at home against them, and a good spot for today. Now, OG, he's been crushing it lately, 66, 49 the last two, but we got to look into the status with Ibaka and with Fred Van Vliet. They're both questionable today, but he's been smashing the last two without them, so something you want to consider uh, with more news in, um, involved. So those are good plays here. Let's go to our power forwards. Of course, you got Zion. I like Zion more so on FanDuel. And, I mean, I'm sorry, on DraftKings at 7,700 on DraftKings. Like I said, one of those games where there's no defense involved. There's no one in, in the front court that could do damage. <laughs> they going to body the front court. There's nobody in there that could do, that could help, that could help this play. Zion should definitely ball out here. He can give you that 40 fantasy point game. Now, 8,200. You know, he's one of those guys, especially with a blowout potential game. He could give you that 41, uh, but 82, you want to give, you want at least get value at 40, which he can do in this play. Uh, but fan, the DraftKings at 77 is too cheap, uh, so it's much, much uh, value in this spot for uh, DraftKings for Zion. I just love that play for him. Um, of course, you got uh, Kawhi Leonard, 9100, 92 on DraftKings, still a great play. Uh, there's a close spread in this play against uh, OKC. He's one of those guys that can give you value easily. Eight, you know, 48, 46 in the last two against OKC. And he's one of those guys that can drop 50 e any day. So, on a close spread, he can give you that 55 plus. And with this price tag, it's a no-brainer. If it's a close game, he's definitely going to be the reason why. So, good spot for him in that play for today. Now, Eric Paschal is in a good spot here. Just knowing that um, Draymond is out. So, definitely going to help out with this price tag at 4,700 against Denver. All right, so Denver, is, I think it's a, it's a 16, almost a 16.5 spread for Denver here. So Eric Paschal should be in a good spot here. He's been doing well in the last three, 32, 34, 30 in the last three games. And knowing that Draymond is now out, he's going to give him a bump in usage. Should definitely help out with this play, giving him another 30-plus, hopefully. Uh, more likely to be lower on as well. So somebody you could look into for some savings. Of course, you could go down. This list, you have P.J. Washington also gets a bump, you know, going against San Antonio in their front court, you know, that 23rd against the position. P.J.'s in a good play here. He could give you that 25-plus if you're looking for some upside here. Um, and that price tag, P.J.'s the one that can definitely help you out. You know, he can give you that 25-plus here. Uh, Harry Giles, he just need to keep his hands to himself. He's just horrible, you know, just – Constantly giving, just constantly having per fouls, man, and technical. So he's one of those guys that's a high risk, but he could do damage. So he's a high risk, but a high reward. Uh, let's look into our next spot. Going to the center plays. Jokic is going to be, for me, a fade. I mean, he's 10,300 on FanDuel, but you're looking on DraftKings. You know, DraftKings, they priced him around 90, was it 96? Let me just verify. I think he's 94. So he's 94 on DraftKings. He only needs like around 45 fans points in this matchup. I mean, he could get that easily in the first half. Um, he's already he's already averaging 47.8 uh, uh, fans points a game. Uh, but looking into the spread, they're looking at a 15.5 spread. So keep that in mind with this play. Uh, he's one of those guys that could give you that 
like I said, he had 47. But as you can see, in just in previous history, he's, he's not even given over 40, 47. So, like I said, with that price tag, especially on FanDuel, 10K, he needs at least 50. And he hasn't done that in the past five games going against Golden State. It's one of those games they might rest him in the, in the, full, in the whole fourth. But who knows? I mean, it's a good spot if you want to look at that play. I like Steven Adams, my opinion, at 63, 62 on uh, DraftKings, 30.4 projection play. So he's one of those guys that can give you upside. He had 51 last game, 34 in the last two against the Clippers. And like I said, it's a close spread. So one of those games where if it goes overtime, he's going to give you double the, the minutes. I mean, double the fans points. He can give you that 45 and up here. Good play for him. Uh, Derek Favors is one of the guys that finally getting back in his groove. He had 35, 37 in the last two. And he's only 5,300 on draft FanDuel, but 52 on DraftKings. He only need around 25 fans points, and he could do that in the sleep in this play against Minnesota. Like I said, nobody in the front court, so he can give you that 25 plus here if you want to look down on the center play. Uh, let's see, you got Bismack Biombo, good play against San Antonio, 4,800. He's only 43 on DraftKings. Safe spot for me in this play. Uh, seems like the coach is uh, putting the hang up on uh, Zeller. I mean, even when he was healthy last game, and they gave more minutes to Willie, uh, Willie Hern Hernan Gomez. So he got like 37 in 20 minutes. So, you know, Willie had a good game, and it sucks for Cody, man. He... He's in the dud, so um, Bismack is in a good play if you want to look at that uh, play for today. And those are the plays I'm looking at so far for today, y'all, until more updates into the injury news. Of course, like I do at all, all times, I always put down any injuries, and I give you value for for the plays that you can look into for your lines throughout the day before lockdown. If you like the plays, give a thumbs up. Any questions or concerns with your lines, comment below using Draft Dashboard tools and link in my description so you want my access to the my player pool click the link in the description get access to the nba cheat sheet give you the best plays of the slate your sleepers and your studs click on the watch players you get access to your player pool and you'll see watch mills dfs picks button up top for either DraftKings or FanDuel. so i love y'all man y'all collect that bag for today it's middle dfs and y'all stay blessed see y'all in the next video